I'm glad you said that because I went to the Wu-Tang Clan name generator. <laughs> uh, and I did uh, yours, Kevin. I'm going to do uh, Chase's All right, next. Kevin, hit me with oh, it. Oh, let's go. Yours as Kevin Hefner is... <laughs> You're going to fucking love this. <laughs> cap to cap. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> Is that how he says it? That's how he says it. <laughs> I would let you hear it, but uh, Erica is on my Spotify right now. Mm. How does that work? Because someone well, complained about that. Well, you can pay for a updated or a more premium Spotify where you, anybody can play on your Spotify at any time. Uh, but we have just the, the regular package. So uh, I'll be in the middle of listening to like, you know, I don't know you know, some hardcore rap song. And then uh, all of a sudden Frozen will pop up on my screen and start playing. <laughs> like, Because <laughs> Erica's in the car with the girls and she wants to, to uh, listen to that. So That's hilarious. JC uh, told me like one time we were in the car and he was listening and all of a sudden his stuff started going apeshit mode. And he didn't know that's what Spotify did. And he honestly, because he truly believes in ghosts and shit, he thought his phone was possessed. <laughs> Jesus. He was probably drunk, but he honestly was believing it. I was yeah. like, what the fuck is going on? But I didn't know what it was, so we Googled it and realized it uh, does that. <laughs> so No, it was so, ghosts. Wait, so somebody else had his password. I'm well, he had someone else's password, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> so like, he would play a song, and then the other person would change it right away. And then he would play, and they both didn't know it was doing it. So it was just back and forth. And I was like, all right, we're back to my music. This is stupid. I'm fucking <laughs> listening to Mob Deep, and I don't care what you say. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, all right, so I'm super pumped for this show, uh, only because there's some cool trivia. And um, I have a really, really, really deep Would You Rather. I think Kevin's going to hate me. Deep. Real deep. Real deep. Uh, so it should be fun. <laughs> I love that, Kevin. Uh, Thank you. So, Kev, uh, start us out. Welcome, everybody, to Cup to Cup, episode number one and two. That makes 12. <laughs> Your math skills are on point. <laughs> Thank you. I got my boy Chase. Yo. That was exciting, Chase. That got me pumped up. I got my I boy got you, Jason. Hey, man, why'd you say it so slow? <laughs> I, I got to slow it down because if uh, if I say it fast, you might miss it because you're old. Oh, damn. Huh. All right. So this has been fun. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Yep. Man, you guys always like at the beginning of the episode, you give out so fast. Don't be sensitive, Sally's. We're sensitive. I'm sensitive. <laughs> That's just what it is. You are very sensitive. Yeah, obviously. Um, we missed something last show. Kevin called me out on it. Um, we went camping, Chase and I, with my brother-in-law. Um, and our brother-in-law. Our, it's weird. I don't know. Uh, What's weird? That he's your brother-in-law no, like, or that, that you went camping? With our brother-in-law. Yeah, so how it works is we've been trying to figure out how we can make John, our, my brother-in-law, his brother-in-law, how it can be like, how Chase and I can be related because of this. And we just can't figure it out because it's... Nope. Um, you want chasing to actually happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, why not? So my wife's brother married, uh, Chase's wife's sister. And so we just want that to somehow become a family situation. So we just don't have a term yeah. for it yet. We're like step brother in laws. Yeah. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so we, <laughs> we, uh, I, it took a lot out of me to try to, uh, say that. Like, I'm like, how I'm going to fuck this up. Um, <laughs> uh, but so we went camping and we rented a golf cart and we're dumb we did. and we'll, we are a little childish and chase mm, a lot childish chase is a very calm and collected mature camper but like saturday night something kind of got into him and we're driving the golf cart and he's driving it i'm in the back and jonathan is in the front guiding him because chase thought it'd be cool to do the bird box challenge yeah, which I've <laughs> never, which I've never wanted to do ever Wait, before. You know, I I always make fun of the people that do this while yep. they're driving. So, so do I. Yeah. Okay, I heard that. And Chase was making fun of it, like he was saying how kids are dumb and they shouldn't do it, and it's just a stupid challenge. Yeah. And it's gonna get them hurt. Yep. And then, like out of nowhere, eleven o'clock at uh, at night, he's like, "I'm gonna try." It wasn't it. eleven o'clock, dude. It was like it was like four p.m. It was camping and it was nighttime, so it can't be four p.m. It wasn't dark yet. We weren't using the headlights. It was dark, bro. 
No, I'm going to no, post the video, wrong. guys. I have a video to prove him wrong. Uh, but I also have some audio. That might be true. Of this. So how, how it worked was uh, Chase was driving. He says he swore he had his um his eyes closed all the whole time. And then Jonathan was steering him on the golf cart. I said like 75%. When I heard John's voice change, yeah. I got nervous and went open my so eyes. So I'll play a little bit of it. And uh, you can see how it went. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, now straight. God damn it. I, I don't like now left. Take your wheel a little left. Yeah, good. No, you're good. Uh, no. Jeez, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was fun. Uh, I know the audio. Sounds like you guys are on an airplane. Holy shit. Yeah, that's my shitty iPhone. Um, no, it was good. But it would. So, like, Jonathan would just be like, left, left, a little left. And then that would scare the shit out of Chase. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because he'd be like, left, left, left. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Go now. Yeah. I really didn't believe Chase was doing it. But uh, when he said 75% of the time he had his eyes closed, uh, I trust him. He's an honest guy. So, no, yeah. I tried it I trust John. Uh, for like 30 seconds. John. And I was like, no, fuck this. I, I didn't have the balls to do it. Couldn't do it. I tried to do it when I knew we were doing like straightaways for the most part, like, um, cause you know, we had, we had driven down that road, you know, like five times that day. So I kind of knew how the road was. So I tried to do it when it was mostly straightaways with no like hard turns, but I got, you. yeah, it was fun. Um, so, sounds like you got some balls of steel to me. No, no, no. I trust John. I mean, you still had your eyes closed all the time. So I, I, yeah, but was, I wouldn't I, do I it. I feel like. I feel like if if we are, you know, in danger, he'd be like, bro, open your eyes. I guess. So hopefully he'd say it a little faster than that. <laughs> hey, dude, if you just want to hey, open man. up your eyes if, whenever if you, you have, want. If man. you have time, yeah. you know. We're all going to die soon. <laughs> it's up to you, though, man. Uh, another thing we missed was a couple of weeks ago, uh, we all came to the resolution that um, we feel like criminals when we have to do drug tests for jobs because yeah. Kevin had to yeah. do one for an application. And... I think it was me or somebody else was like, did you feel like a criminal just doing it yeah. for a job? And you were like, yes, yes, I did. Even though you're hundred percent positive, you're going to pass. You're just Dude. like, cause they're, they're like, leave the door cracked. And it's like, oh, okay. It's a, and it was the most sketchy place ever. Like it always I, is. I told Erica, uh, my wife, I told her, I was like, this place is so sketchy. She's like, well, it is a drug test place. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's a valid point. <laughs> you would but like, I mean, everybody, there was probably in the room, in the waiting room for me, there were probably like 20 people in there. And there, nobody's like saying a peep. It's dead <laughs> silence. And everybody just kind of like looking at each other, you know, looking down at their phone, looking up like, you looking at me? Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> it was really, uh, really awkward. And uh, it was very official, <laughs> and uh, like I was trying my best because you know, I'm, like I I make a joke out of everything. I was trying my best just not to, like crack up laughing, <laughs> like when she's like, um, "If you could just put your belongings in this box, and here's your cup. You're going to insert this room here. <laughs> Do not flush the toilet when you're done." I'm oh like, yeah, that's right. Like, Don't wait a second, the they got to check it, man. What do they got to check, though? I don't know. I don't know. What if all my pee-pee goes into the uh, <laughs> little cup? Like, that's all I had. Redo. That's a little dribble. Then, then that's impressive. Yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, Wait, sometimes you don't go a little dribble sometimes? Just a little bit? Maybe. But, mm. I mean, I don't think it's checking to see if you miss. I think it's checking if you, like, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. All I know is I nope. think it should have two separate drug tests. One for... I don't know, paroles and like if you're doing it because yeah, right. of yeah. like jail situations and then there should be another one for employee because it's just you're with some weird people sketchy. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Um, yep. Like, have you have you been charged for a felony yet? Nope. OK, so you go this okay, way. You go this everybody door. else. Everybody go else. Everybody else go to the VIP club where they're playing <laughs> you know, music and handing out club sandwiches. Yeah. I don't want to <laughs> judge people. I just feel like it's just like some, we're very we're not straight edge, but we're pretty. We're pretty uh, nerdy little guys, so we don't fit in in the in the gangster crowd. Yeah, <laughs> the gangster yeah. crowd. I, don't I mean, it's uh, it was awkward. Yeah. Uh, but so we got two new brackets or uh, two new subs that we have to uh, matchups that we have to do. Um, I'm gonna hit this little intro, and then I'm gonna let Chase uh, take us from there. It's bracket time, baby. Get excited. 
God, that does get me excited. I love that. I love that intro. It's especially <laughs> it's the Transformers, man. Dude, it's the Transformers. That's what it is. Yep. I feel like I'm demanded to get excited, so I automatically get excited. Yeah. Get excited. <laughs> yeah. right, get fine, excited. I will. Jesus. <laughs> All right. God. It's cool at first, but now I have to get excited. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, today we are doing the three seed Jersey Mike's versus the 14 seed McAllister's Deli and the four seed Jimmy John's versus the 13 seed Charlie's. Um, so why don't we start with Jersey Mike's versus McAllister's? Because for me, this is a really, really easy one. McAllister's is pretty average, in my opinion, like, and it's not really even that much of a sub place. They mostly just have sandwiches. Um, and their average sandwiches, whereas Jersey Mike's, I only get one type of sub there, but it's a really good sub and that's their Philly. Um, and so Jersey Mike's easily for me. Okay. Wait, you only go to Jersey Mike's for their Philly? Yeah. Yeah. I've had other subs are okay. They're known for the Philly. I think that's like their bread and butter. Yeah. That's their, that's their main sub. Do you go for something else, Kev? I go for the best sandwich in the whole world. And it's not the Philly. What is and it? What's that? It's the Chipotle cheesesteak. Yeah, that's. I consider that in the same uh, area. Yeah, I mean, like a Philly is basically just it's cheese. a cheesesteak. Yeah, yeah. And then so now you're just throwing Chipotle sauce on it. So it's... yeah, that's the only difference. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, McAllister's. All right, let me tell you. The only reason I know anything about McAllister's because when I was in Tallahassee, you'd always see people walking around with these big to go. Uh, clear cups and it says McAllister's on them and that's because they went to the mall and they needed something to eat and uh, so McAllister's is the only decent place in the mall there Uh, so I'd see people with that and I'd be like oh what's that place so I tried it one time and it was terrible and (laughs) uh, yeah but I got the cool cup and I looked like everybody else Uh, (laughs) so McAllister is your trash and I (laughs) never even had a sub from you uh, but I didn't see any subs on your menu at the time, so uh, I would have went with the subs, and it would have been shit anyway. So <laughs> I'm going with, obviously, I'm going with um, the other. Sorry, the other. Sorry, the other, Jersey, Jersey Mike's. Mike's. Yes. Yeah. I, I always my my I I think Jason said this before. Jersey Mike's and Jimmy John's. I always like get those mixed. Oh up. yeah, not mixed I, up. Like I know which different. one is which, but the names. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it was me. Weird. Yeah, I'm dumb. But uh, so Accurate. it's um, Jersey, but Jersey Mike's Chipotle cheesesteak sub is the best sub in the entire world. Yeah, I don't agree with that. Shit, that's fine. Okay, all right. Um, world. I'm putting a note on it down for that one. Uh, just when we're if you forward. haven't had it, try it. It's got that nice, wonderfully soft bread. <laughs> Uh, no need and then they 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 put, they grill the 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 cheesesteak and the veggies right there in front of you uh the uh peppers and the onions and they throw, slap that thing on top of the nice soft bread you get your veggies on top of there i'm a big lettuce guy when it comes to subs i like extra lettuce actually I on like a cheesesteak nice- huh okay Wait, maybe I don't get it on the cheese. <laughs> I was going to say now that. Now you got me questioning myself. I don't think you do. <laughs> I mean, you can. I don't. I do. I don't yeah. but... No, no, I don't think I do. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I don't know, man. He's going to go. He's going to Jersey <laughs> think, Mike's today, I, I, and he's going to order I think a I, sub. I think I just get it the way they, did, they <laughs> gave it to me. But, uh, but anyway. So we usually do this um, later in the rounds, but I want to know because you were super upset with it um, last round. So if we swapped McAllister's and Lenny's, and it was Lenny's uh, and Jersey Mike's. Which way would you go, Chase? Oh, man. That would have been a really, really tough one. I think Jersey Mike's has the better overall one sub, which is, again, their Philly cheesesteak. But I think Lenny's, as a sub place, has better subs. Like, if you just took out that one sub from, from Jersey Mike's, I'm not going to Jersey Mike's. Whereas if you took out Lenny's uh, Philly cheesesteak, I'm still going to go to Lenny's because they have other really good subs. So I'll go with Lenny's. So Lenny's would have moved moved forward. Or, well, we would have had a tiebreaker. We don't know, but yeah. What would you have picked? Because it would have mattered. I would have said Jersey Mike's. 
Yeah, yeah. So I figured most people would have. Again, I think Jersey Mike's Philly cheesesteak is the best overall sub between the two places in the world. But, but no, I don't. I don't agree with that. Um, but like as a whole, I think Lenny's has more subs that are that are really good. Do you th- and you got to try every one of them because you had this have free tried, for a whole year. I have year. tried all of them. Do you think yeah. the average person goes into a, their sub place and orders a different sub though? I think most people have their like sub and they always order the same yeah, one. Go-to. No, they they normally have one, maybe yeah. two, tops three. Gotcha. Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. Okay. Uh, I have one. Like I go the same thing every time. Yeah, I don't know. I switch it up on. If I go to the same place over and over again, but I don't. So yeah, but your your vote doesn't matter because you don't put condiments on. <laughs> it's really freaky. Bro. Yeah. I, uh, I re-listened to the last episode and I was just like, I forgot about that. You are a freaking psycho. Like you're a psychopath. <laughs> I did bro. say I put oil and vinegar on some, which is doesn't, a condiment. Count. I know it doesn't. doesn't count. Count. I'll, I'll agree with that. Chase, what's the next one? The next one, hold on. Are you eating? He's eating. No, I had ice in my mouth. I'm sorry. Um, (laughs) The next one, we have number four, Jimmy John's. God, that is overrated. Versus number 13, Charlie's, which is very underrated. So do you want me to do this one? Yeah. Uh, I'm going Charlie's, man. If if you know me real well, you know that I think Jimmy John's is probably the most overrated sub place in the world. It's so, so average. Um, I have tried like I'm not joking. I've tried like eight of their subs um, because I used Jesus. to have a roommate. Yeah, I used to have a roommate and like in college and late at night, he would always, always be like, let's get Jimmy John's because it was like the only place open that delivered um, near us. And so we'd order Jimmy. And every time I'd be like, God, this is so average. It's the water of subs. OK, it has no taste. I've tried everything. It's so average. Charlie's, on the other hand, is very underrated. They also have a very good cheesesteak. If you haven't had it, they have one called the Bacon 3 Cheesesteak, which has Stop. three di- three different types of cheeses and bacon on it. It's really, really good. If you haven't had it, it's disgusting. Dude, it's so good. It's <laughs> incredible. Um, and they have other cheesesteaks if that's not up your alley, if you're weird like Kevin. Is that their um, thing, have- cheesesteaks? Yeah, they have yeah. a lot of cheesesteaks. Okay. Yeah, that's normally. They have a jalapeno cheesesteak. Um, they got your normal Philly cheesesteak. Charlie's Philly steaks. Yeah. No, they have really, really good Phillies and they have really good fries, although that's not really the thing here, but um, just threw it out there. Charlie's easily. Jimmy John is so overrated. Kev, before you go f- uh, move forward. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, now, well, right? yeah, maybe. But who's the guy? I thought it was you, Chase. So I'm, I'm wrong. Who's the guy in the, in, our, in the crew? Is it Jose or Chris that loves Jimmy John's? Because I thought it was you. No, God, I hate Jimmy John's. Do we all hate Jimmy John's? No, I think Jose really likes it. I'm pretty sure it's Jose. Got it. Okay, so I got, I thought it was you, so I, I was wrong. So I know someone does, but um, Kev. Hey, Chasen, do you mind if I talk? Ouch. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kev, continue. I like Jimmy Jones. Oh. Okay. What's uh? I don't understand. Like their bread is good. Oh, yeah. Uh, the only thing I have a problem with is they go, they go a little heavy on the onions. I, I had to get them light on the onions because I don't know, like, why do they insist on putting so many goddamn onions on their thing? Uh, when I was in college, like, it was right next to my house. So I used to always go there. Let's just get Jimmy John's. Fuck it. Let's go, you know. And it's not like the most amazing sub in the world, but it's good. I mean, it was mm. good. Uh, I can understand where you're saying like, oh, it's not, it's, it's kind of more bland than other places, but, uh, the gargantuan is always what I got. Um, which, um, has salami, capicola, <laughs> capicola. <laughs> capicola, turkey, roast beef and ham and provolone. Okay. Uh, I'm digging the accident. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Uh, it also uh, a gargantuan will run you about uh, twenty two hundred calories, so you know you gotta you gotta choose pick and choose when you're gonna t- throw down one of those things. And I could never finish like a whole one, like like a half and maybe a little bit more, but no, nah. I mean, but it's good. It's great. Like uh, you stick the other half in the fridge, and then you know you go out to the bars and you come back and you're like. <gasps> Let's go. I forgot I had that. And it's like heaven. It's a- uh, but, I mean, when we're talking about better subs, I mean, Charlie's is good. But, 
I just have better memories with Jimmy John's. So it's the nostalgia for you with Jimmy John's. Yeah, I mean, if, I guess if we're going for taste, I mean, what what are the what are the factors again? I for, completely forgot. But I would say taste we and quality. Taste. Yeah. yeah. Price wasn't part of it. It might be part of it if it was like a one hundred percent tie. Yeah. And then it makes sense. You're going to go for the cheaper one. I get that. Well, see, I would I would say for your nostalgia, Kevin, I would think that would be a tiebreaker. Yes. So like if they're tied, yeah, yeah, then the sure. nostalgia would tip it over. I mean, I'll jump on Charlie's with you. Nice. There it is. Our first upset. Uh, first before. Uh, just because, but like, like I said, no, nah, no. Nah, if you put a Jimmy John sub in front of me, I'm not gonna be like, get that shit out of my face. I'm <laughs> not if eating you, that. If you put pretty much any sub in front of me, yeah. I'm not gonna say get that out of my face. I like Jimmy me. John's, but I mean, as far as you know, I mean, I feel like Charlie's puts a little more, uh, a little more effort into this you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. they they seem like they care a little bit more. so G- i think jimmy john's main thing like that gets a lot of people is they're open late and they deliver like yeah. that's a that is a big plus and they're freaky fast yeah and it's fast yeah, yeah it's a fast delivery you know i i didn't ever get delivery from them until like i moved in with chris and he was like let's get jimmy john's and i was like well, i'm not driving all the way he's like no they deliver yeah and, and it's not like, it's not that expensive either no. so yeah do you not um do you not remember us ordering the gargantuan every time we'd go like run for like seven miles when you were training for that half mile? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, or half marathon. Uh, just talking well, I mean, like, about af- running. After you run that far, like you know, like it doesn't matter what you eat after that. Like it's <laughs> we would it's gonna burn right through. We it. would order that sub and then we would go. We I remember us going to the bars right away because we realized if your blood was still pumping, we'd start drinking. We get drunk so oh, much you quicker. Get drunk oh, way dude, faster, you get way cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was great. Um. So, first upset, Charlie's moves what, what forward. What would you have picked, Jason? Charlie's. Okay. I hate Jimmy oh. John's. I think Jimmy Whoa. John's is... We don't disgusting. use that word in no, this uh, We podcast. absolutely use that word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we use it a lot. Uh, and I think it blows my mind that you said you like their bread, because I feel like their white bread... Their wheat bread is dope, but their white bread, I think, is gr- like not good. I think Subway's is much better bread than Jimmy John's. Well, which Subway's, I mean, which bread? Subway's got 25 different kinds of bread. Uh, any any bread is better than Jimmy John's, except for their wheat wow. bread. I do not like Jimmy John's bread. I disagree with it. I disagree with that. No, I mean, I obviously, the whole world loves Jimmy John's, so. Yeah. No, it, that's not me. true. We, we're voting it off the island, so <laughs> apparently we don't. Three of us. Three of us out of the whole world. I think we'll get a lot of shit for Jimmy John's. I know we got a and lot we're of shit getting, for Lenny. We're also getting sued for using uh, voting off the island. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I thought it was kind of funny how randomly somebody changed the word episode 12 in our rundown to pepisode 12. I saw that. That was probably me. <laughs> what? <laughs> it says I didn't even notice 12. that. Yeah. Anyway, um, random random thought. <laughs> who, uh, who's, who do we got next week? Uh, I didn't even look. No, I didn't, uh, I'm bad at setting up. Like, I don't know. I never know the matchups. Um, and I know Chase is good at that. Like, which is the next ma- matchup we're going to do? Um, cool. Way to put me on the spot there, yeah, man. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll come back to that. Okay. We'll come back to that. Here, hold on. I, I got it right here. Thank so you, So the next up uh, would be Witch Witch, the 12 seed against Quiznos, the 5 seed. Mm-hmm. And Blimpies, the 11 seed against Subway. Damn. Blimpies against Subway. Is there going to be another upset? I can see some upsets here. Um, but I don't know. Subway was voted really, really high. I was, I did not expect it to be so high. I think again, I think it's just like the name yeah. and the, the cheapness. I don't know, man, the comments and stuff. Like a lot of people have like, I love Subway. I love Subway. So <laughs> let's go ahead and save this. Subway. All right. Whatever. Let's save this for um, the uh, podcast. Uh, yeah. yeah. So if uh, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go to cup to cup life.com slash brackets. Uh, and you can follow along. All of them are there, including, the Christmas one and the um, Leo one too, so whoop whoop. Yep, Chase, uh, your uh, Kevin's favorite segment of the show. <laughs> <laughs> what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever said. <laughs> okay, so I I'm figured I I figured I'd go with a. Um, a little bit of a different one. One okay, so probably... that's the right one this time, not the opposite one. Heard that? Oh. <laughs> that's not what I was. I'm on to your it. game. Okay, well then, in that case, I'm going to switch it up. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what I meant was so on this one. Actually, now both of them 
are now recognized as correct terms. But what I want to know is which was the original. Okay, because both these are now recognized as correct sayings, but oh. one of them was the original correct saying. I like it. Some historical background. So, here. yeah, we have, and I'm sure you've heard this, buck naked or butt naked. Mm. Which one was the original one? I know we both want to say bunk because we don't. Nobody wants to say bunk. Bunk? Is it bunk? What is it's it? It's buck, like buckshot. Buck <laughs> Never mind. So obviously not bunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> one wants to say that. <laughs> so I, I think both of us want to say buck because we obviously don't say it. Um, but I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna say buck. I was gonna say buck too. That's yeah. I'm a redneck. It's always been buck naked for me. Oh wait, you've always said buck. Yeah. Oh, I've always said butt. Butt naked. Yeah, I've always said butt naked. It's always been buck naked for me. Got buck. It. Uh, I don't know where it comes from. Maybe like a buck, like a deer, is uh naked. So <laughs> you're running around naked too. Uh. Butt naked, obviously it's your butt. So uh, I'm going with the deer, the 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 naked baby deer. Okay, so Bambi. we're both going buck naked. Bambi. Yeah. As right. the original. Buck buck naked is the original. So you're both right. Okay. Um, Jason, I'm surprised you always said butt naked, but yeah. Well, I um, say a lot of shit wrong. Yeah. Well, he All also right. picked the opposite because he's playing the game. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So you're both right. Congrats. It's it's. The, the first Me. time we've had them both right. Um, so <laughs> I don't, it says that um, they're not quite sure where it came from, but the earliest they can see was from 1915. And then the term became gradually more common as the century progressed. The first instance of butt naked came around in the early 80s. So buck oh. naked was first, and then butt naked came afterwards. Obviously, it makes sense. Butt naked makes sense. Your, you know, your butt's out. You know. Does it explain like where buck comes into play? It doesn't because it's it doesn't say like it doesn't know exactly how it came around. But yeah. um, it I mean, does. I, say, I think it's I think it's pretty much a hundred percent from a uh, Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> it does say that um, buck naked is most often used and like writing like when when you're writing an article or a book or something it normally says buck naked whereas butt naked is more like said like you'll say butt naked but you won't write butt naked if that makes sense but they're both considered correct i ain't writing neither one of those to be honest with you. <laughs> i don't I'm see just i gonna just say, i'm just gonna say na naked i just don't understand it because like when you look up the definition of buck the two definitions that pop up immediately is the male of some horned animals or a vaulting horse so i don't get why well, but but aren't naked. aren't both of those naked they have fur yeah but they're not wearing clothes is that what defines naked i don't know i feel like if you have fur over you, you're not you're not really naked i mean if you have I, hair I, on I, your I, chest I, are you still shirtless clothes, uh, yeah yeah what was that kev I got fur all over me, but when uh, when I take my clothes off, <laughs> you are not hairy, bro. Especially like, at parties on. when he takes his clothes off. Yeah, you you look like a baby child. You have no hair on you. <laughs> um, That's I don't know. really awkward. It's not <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I just pictured myself naked, and I was like, "Do I have hair? Yeah, yeah I got hair. You got a little oh, like man. peach fuzz. I don't know about all that. I think it's kind of weird that I know too much about your body hair situation. <laughs> uh, I like that one. I'm just kind of like upset with. Not understanding the buck thing, but I guess if it's just animals don't wear clothes, that's why you're buck naked. I, then I get it. I really don't know. I tried to find exactly where it came from, and you know, it doesn't seem to really know exactly how it started. Which cool. I feel like that's going to be the issue with some of these is that it's like I don't know how the fuck it started. But. <laughs> I do like uh, I like this one a lot. Probably my favorite one, just because I, I finally figured out which one was original. <laughs> so. But I've been saying the wrong one at least. I've been I've been wrong every time, and now that I'm right, I don't feel any sort of <laughs> like uh, you know. Any, any feel like I accomplished anything? I just Kevin, feel like Kevin I, hates this I was game. Like, I was like, all right, cool, yeah, I was right. I'm sorry you hate this game, Kevin. Don't. Uh, I mean, I don't hate it. You know, it's just like you know. I like it. I think it's like a learning I like thing. It, but you know, whatever. Um. All right. So if you hate his, you're gonna hate this question. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I really do because I told this to Emily at uh, Atlantic Brewery. Shout out to them. I think – all right, so last night Chase and I were talking and we are like, where are all these following, followers coming from? Our Instagram gained like 500 followers last night. 
Yeah, and it was crazy. We, we have no idea what happened. Uh, we thought maybe what? it's a fluke. Yeah. And so I looked through the feed and I realized, I don't know if it's them, but they uh, they reposted a story um, that I shared on the Cup to Cup Instagram. So maybe it was from them. They got like 14,000 followers. Uh, I know. Awesome, I think I, the, the followers actually started creeping in before they did that. Damn. Though. So then I got nothing. But either way, they gave us a shout out and they let us uh, put up um, our business cards and stuff at their uh, brewery. So shout out to them because uh, they're my favorite beer. Yeah. Who's that again now? Uh, Atlantic Brewery uh atlantic brewery yeah it's the closest one to our house um uh but that's the place that i wanted to have our new year's eve podcast but they were closed oh that's that's where we went um not new year's eve but the day before right jason yeah yeah okay with like ping pong tables in that back area yeah when i realized you're really good at ping pong and i'm never playing you again i'm very average at ping pong shut the fuck up Beer is good stuff, though, huh? It is uh, really it's good. my favorite lager, um, and they have a bunch of good pale ales and uh, kombucha. Do you guys like kombucha? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know okay. what that is. I don't know what that is. It's fermented tea with like usually. Alexa, ginger. what's kombucha? <laughs> Sorry, that's how I answer everything. What'd you say? She didn't say nothing. She's inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, next segment. <laughs> It's time for Would You Rather, two choices, sometimes good, sometimes bad. Which one would you rather? All right, Kev, don't hate me. All right. Emotional. I will never hate you. Okay, thank you. All right, so last week was pretty masculine. We got some grizzlies and gorillas. This one's going to get emotional. I'm not putting on lipstick anymore, all right, or whatever the hell. <laughs> I don't think happen. that's what he meant. Yeah, next episode. Would you rather have your wife have a one night hookup sex oh. one night stance or she has a lasting emotional connection, meaningful convos, long talks, staring each other eyes, really into them, but they never kiss, hug, sex ever. It'll never happen. It's just emotional connection. Which one would you rather have your wife do? Can, can I just stop for a second? Did you say one night stance? I'm pretty sure it's a one night stand. See, I told you I told all kinds of shit wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is no. uh you're not wrong, Chase. You're okay. Wrong. No, it's stand. It's one it's night stand. stand, yes. I yeah. just I was like, did I hear uh, that? <laughs> so one night stand or emotional connection. So Chase, you're gonna hate this. Um, but Joe Rogan mm-hmm. had I don't uh, hate behavioral... why, I don't hate Joe. I really like Joe Rogan. Uh he had a behavioral scientist on there that kind of studying like um gorillas and like how we became like who we are as humans and like trying to figure out like the gap. Right. And he said, this is a big study that they have. And they ask why um, the wives and the husbands and they get different answers. So I'll let you know what the typical answer is for each um, person. But uh, Chase, I want to hear what you think. I always have to go first. Um, I, I don't want either, to be honest. Obviously. Um, well, obviously yeah. nobody wants that. Yeah. Uh, man, I guess I would rather not. I would rather she not have the one night stand. So I guess yeah. I'd rather she do the emotional connection. It's neither one's good, man. Like I, I agree. If, if either one's happening, your relationship's probably not in a good place. Yes. Um, and you're probably not going to last. Yeah. Um, but it's really hard to get over knowing that someone else had sex with your wife. I don't I don't know if I could get over something like that. So right. uh, well, I don't know if I could get over yeah. the other thing either, but yeah. I gotcha. Kev. Uh I'm going with I'm confident in my sexual skills. <laughs> <laughs> so like if she has a one night stand with some random dude, then that's just like mm, I mean, obviously like Chase said, like it's not gonna be good either way. Yeah. Uh then I'll be like, well, I mean that's ridiculous. I'll be pissed off, but I'll be like, I mean, that guy wasn't as good as me. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're a top five kisser of all time. So top five That's kisser, uh, top three lover. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, I mean, you know, when you got <laughs> skill, like, you know, uh, I have a hidden talents, you know, so this is one okay. of them. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I would rather do that over like, I mean, her obviously like like being in love with somebody else, right? That's basically is, is that, that what is. you're saying? She's in love with someone else. Well, I mean, an emotional connection oh, for yeah. 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 
yeah, but guess. you're not but she's never making a move so kev you're saying you rather have her have sex with somebody I don't. I would rather her not do either one. <laughs> Which How about that? Obviously, yes, I got that, but that's not part of the game. Yeah, yeah. I don't like so this you guys question. Disagree. I know. I know you guys didn't, Just but I thought it was going to be. A I mean, very you're, hard. You're, your wife is going to be in love with somebody. No, I get you. Your get wife you. is going to be like, look, I accidentally had terrible sex with this guy. <laughs> How do you? Yeah. How do you? Because keep she's comparing terrible. it to me, Chase. That's why. <laughs> what it's if all relative. you said your top three? What if it's one of those? You know, what if it's god, first or second? What if it is, bro? <laughs> oh my god! What if she gets number one? Ooh, ooh! I'm Again, fucked. honestly, I'm fucked way. Yeah, so the what I will say for your stance, Kevin, is like if she has one night stand, I feel like you find out. Do you find out about these? Like. Or is it like well, she yeah. has this emotional connection you don't even know? I don't. I I don't know. This is. I took it off from the study, and that's all they kind of gave me. Um, okay. From it, so uh, they didn't really talk about like you guys are going to stay together, and this is it. They just said these are the two options. Um, mm, fair enough. So I will. I will say this. So the women rather have the guy uh, hook up than the emotional connection. Guys rather have the. Um, emotional connection done to them they don't the basically the guys don't want their wives fucking somebody else um yeah and that's the like usually which is, the which is understandable yeah well, and it's just, either way is understandable yeah, that's what i'm saying think, yeah that's what i, I meant think men in general like that that's their their macho ego you know that's yeah. like you know like i joke around about being the best lover you know but uh well, you know to be fair you don't say you're the best top three you're not that top cocky three. thank yeah. you you're yeah. modest yeah i am modest <laughs> Uh, but either way, I don't want to think about either yeah, one of these situations. No, no. Like I'm a little heated right now. Yeah, they're honest. they're both uh, like, they're both pretty pretty bad. I'm about to yeah. call, I'm about to pause this and call my wife and see. <laughs> what, so are you? I brought this up. with my girls. I uh I so Emily always likes to know the rundown prior. So we're having the pint at Atlanta Brewery, and I told her this, and she like starts tearing up. She's like, "You can't ask that. That's this terrible yeah, question. Really like, bad. I don't want to think about that." And that made me want to do it even more, just because I feel like some of these questions are too easy, and this is gonna make you like think. Uh, and it hurt a yeah, little. Yeah, I'm bit. I'm definitely Emily, not sold on my answer. So I want to yeah. know what the I want to know what our listeners uh would do. Me too. I want to know if this study I was is kind of the true. number of listeners we have. I was going to throw it out there. Wanna... You told um, me at the beginning of the show, right? Uh, Yeah. Or you told um, us before the show. Yeah. And then I, I want to remember oh, – I can't remember what Joe Rogan said. But um, yeah, he I forgot what they said. But he was like, yeah, that's a tough question, man. I don't know. Because then when he started explaining it, he's like, wait, like love? Like damn, yeah, I don't that's know. That's what man. it is. No, dude, you're so, in love. See, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I mean I think the way Kevin said if she's in love with another person, like it's over. Yeah. Even well, if, if she fucks another guy, it's over. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, most likely, yeah. 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 But Even I'm saying it like, wasn't as good as me. Well, that's why I'm saying like you like I want I would want to know. Like if you're in love with someone else, then like, you know, it needs it needs to be over. I need to know and it needs to be over. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. That Sorry, a, I had to that do that. Big guys. gulp. Whatever yep. you that. I, I told you, man, it's it, it's it was gonna hurt. All right. I was so, talking about the drink, but yeah. Uh, oh, my bad. No, you're good, man. Okay. Cool, man. It's time for fill in the blank. Three blanks. One answer. Two guys. Wait, one answer? There's two of us. Why is there only one answer? Who's answering? I, I don't get it. Ah, fuck it. Kevin, you're first. Yeah! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Blank was the scariest moment of your life. The scariest moment of my life was also one of the happiest moments of my life. Uh, and it was when my youngest daughter, Avery, was born. Um, my wife had to have an emergency C-section. And uh, so... It was our first child, first off. So I really wasn't, didn't know what I was getting into uh, as far as like how everything was going to go down at the end. Um, and the C-section thing, you know, they had to put her under. Well, they had to, you know, basically dope her up, you know. And uh, 
it just it was a scary situation for me in general. So then they're like, I'm sitting in this room pacing back and forth, you know, waiting for them to like just to say anything. Like I, there was times I'm sitting in this room and then I walk out in the hallway. And I'm like, has anybody got to give me any updates here? Like, come on. Like I'm sitting here pacing back and forth. My wife's, you know, having an emergency C-section because uh, Avery came out uh, butt first. Uh, which, side note, her booty was so bruised up and red from that, man. I felt so bad. Uh, and she also came, uh, I think, four weeks early, three or four weeks early. So it was altogether a scary situation. And then they're like, all right, we're ready for you, Kevin, if you want to come on in. I walk in, and Erica's, first thing I look at was Erica, and she is white as a fucking ghost. Like, you could tell that something wasn't right, you know? And I was like, I was like, Hey, and she didn't say nothing to me. Just like fucking spaced out, you know? And, uh, I was like, is she okay? And they're like, they didn't give me a certain answer. You know, I was like, is she okay? And they were like, um, she's going to be okay. I was like, okay. They were like, why don't you come over here? Look. And, uh, you know, I heard, I heard, uh, Avery, Avery's scream, uh, when they, when they brought out the baby, you know, they pulled the Avery out and, uh, she wasn't giving like the, the, this, I don't know how to explain this to know that your baby is doing well and alive is that they let out a cry, you know? And it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. And then, like, she let out a cry, and it was just, like, an emotional fucking takeover for me. That's when, like, because, like, the whole situation was so tense. And then when she let out that cry, it was just, like, this is such a relief. Like, she's fine, you know? The baby's fine, you know? And they were like, do you want to cut the umbilical cord? And I was like, yeah, you know, I'll do that. So I cut that. And then I look over to my right to make sure Erica is still okay, you know? Because that was my number one concern after. I knew the baby was okay. I was like, is she okay? And I look over, and down on the ground, in this little, like, salad bowl, like silver salad bowl-looking thing, you know, is about, probably about 35 blood-soaked rags. And she lost so much blood. Like... She told me today, I asked her if it was okay if I told this story today, just like you didn't talk to Emily. Uh, and she was like, yeah. And I was like, I was like, this, it was just so fucking scary because all that blood you lost. She's like, yeah. The doctor told me later that like they were, they were questioning whether to give her a blood transfusion or not. You know, wow. that's how much blood she lost. But so then like, they're like, okay, let's take the baby. You are going to go with the baby over here into the NICU you know, because she still had trouble, like, breathing and, you know, everything. It was a whole thing with Avery. Uh, but then the whole time I'm in there, like, I'm away from Erica. And, they're like, already, like, I'm like, is she going to be okay? And they're like, you know, she did lose a lot of blood, you know. So this never was, like, never once did they say, yeah, she's good. Mm -hmm. She's good. She's going to be okay. It was just like, you know, she lost a lot of blood. We're doing some tests. We're doing things, you know. And I'm just like, so, and then like, so I'm sitting here with this brand new baby all by myself in this dark room, you know, and I'm just like, you know, it's, it's the happiest moment of my life, you know, because, you know, I got Avery and the world is, the, my whole life has changed, you know, and it's an amazing thing. But then it's also the scariest moment of my life until they came out. And they were like, okay, she's okay. You know, Erica's going to be okay. So, uh, it was freaky, but that's it. Damn. I'm not going yeah, to follow, yeah. I'm, I'm follow that. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I don't no, mean to. Dude, I, don't mean I, to. Mean, I, I remember um, coming to visit you guys. I don't know how, how many days or hours or whatnot after um, she was born. Uh, the only thing I remember, obviously I wasn't there for that, uh, but how small she was. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She I was, she was, you, the, like, she came super early. So you like, you brought me into the, the room and, uh, 
she was in, on in that machine. Um, right. I just, I just remember like, oh my God, she's so tiny. She is so small. And now she is a little she's giant, giant she's, monster. She's <laughs> actually, yeah, she's, uh, she is above, she's like on the upper tier of her, of her size for her age. You know, people are always like, she's five. Jesus. She looks like she's like 10. Yeah. Um, all right, Chase, come yeah. on. Let's hear it. I mean, do I really <laughs> have to? No, I mean, obviously, you know, I got these kids' stories, no, so I'm going to one-up everybody on this shit. Was, whew, man. He was like, I had to pick up a garbage can full of cement. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I got scared. Kevin, I feel like that took a lot out of you, man. Like, Bro, it, it's, it still gets me. Like, oh, when I'm I think sure. about all that blood, like, bro, I'm thinking, like, there's no way that one person can lose all that blood and just she's gonna be okay. No, she's not fucking okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, now you need to start. I was I was about to get aggressive. I was like, you know, tell me what's I don't going start on. Getting, if I don't start getting some answers here, you know, I'm gonna go find out for myself. Yeah. And I'm bringing the baby with me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, God, that's intense. Um, I don't have anything like that at all no i mean uh, i'm sorry no don't be sorry man way to way to make me go first i'm I'm sure there's definitely people out there who heard that story and like that totally relates to them um me not having a kid it's you know it's still i mean knowing y'all and and all that it's still just like as you're telling that story i was just totally just like picturing everything um yeah wow all right well uh yeah i have nothing like that um, I've, I've lived a very, um, scare free life for the most part. Um, what you've never been scared. Come no, on. Man. I, I mean, I've been scared, but like, I, you know, there's not like any, there's nothing even close to that. Um, yeah. I, I had trouble thinking of like any, like one moment. So I just thought of one that was like kind of scary, but also like a fun story. Um, a couple years back, I went to Costa Rica for my cousin's bachelor party. Um, and we did this like ATV tour and I mean, it's one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life, but I've always wanted to do that. Yeah. It was also very intense. Like I'm, I'm far from like an expert ATV driver. Like I've, you know, I've rode one a bunch, but like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not like going mudding in my ATV. Like I haven't done that. Um, so like when they said ATV tour, I kind of imagine like a relaxed, just like driving. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I imagine, but like we get there and they're like, you know, has anybody done this before? And like pretty much all of us did at least once. So they kind of like made us go in a line. They had a tour guide in front and a tour guide in back. And then like, you know, the person up front was the one who had done it the most. And, you know, you work your way back. So I was kind of like in the middle. Um, well, we have been ATV riding for like, 10 minutes and this is in the jungle uh going up a mountain is what we are doing it um there's no like barrier on this mountain like if if you so if you fall off the side you're dead yeah um i mean like and it's a drop especially the higher up you get i mean we're talking like you know hundreds if not a thousand foot drop um when you're like near the top and so like we're we've been going like 10 minutes and it's a blast man but we're gunning it but like some of these turns i'm like man like am i the only one like getting a little nervous about this <laughs> um and so we take a break after like 10 minutes because we had kind of like taken some sharp turns and the tour guy wanted to make sure everyone was still in line and so i turn around um because like we stop i turn around there's no one behind me there's supposed to be like three or four people behind me there's no one um so like the tour guys like, oh, they probably just, you know, we're going slower because um, they were the less experienced people. They're probably they're probably just going a little slower. So we wait and like five, ten minutes later, there's still no one behind us. So the tour guys like, um, why don't y'all wait here? I'll be right back. Uh, so he rides off and we're all just like, what do what the hell is going on? Like, is are they OK? So finally, about ten minutes later, all the people come up. And what had happened is the guy directly behind me, when he was taking a sharp turn, his tire had hit the inside part of the mountain and he had flipped about three times, um, was able to stay on the road, didn't go off the mountain. Um, He he tore his back up pretty good. 
Um, and anyways, everyone's like, are you okay? Do you want to go back? He's like, no, like I'm not going back. This is like a three hour tour and we're 10 minutes in and someone's already flipped their ATV like multiple times. <laughs> and like this, they're like, yeah, this is kind of the easy part. Um, <laughs> they're like going down the like, mountains actually a little more intense. So Jesus. yeah, no, it was, I mean it again, it's one of the most fun things I've ever done yeah. in my life. It was a blast. Um, I absolutely many- recommend anybody to do it. Um, maybe go a little slower than we did because I mean we we gassed it the entire time like there was no yeah. slowing down I mean the tour guides at the end even told us they're like thank you so much for going fast so like you have no idea how many of these tours we do and like we're going like three miles an hour it takes like <laughs> yeah. seven hours it's like it's, so, it's like it's the worst how how like so when you're driving down the road on the mountain like the, the high tops like by feet how how many feet um is your tire away from the cliff it it depends like there's there's areas where you know you could probably fit three four atvs side by side and then there's okay. times where it's like a little more than one atv is what you could fit what yeah yeah so you mean like one additional no, ATV? I mean next like to you? no, like I mean, one singular. Have, yeah. Now that's so you're talking the the tires like five feet away from the edge, like less than that. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. out, bro. I'm done. I'm shitting myself. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm good, bro. And I grew up with ATVs. I'm shitting myself, it, dude. Yeah. It was it was the most like probably top five thing I've ever done in my life. Definitely yeah. top five thing I've ever done in my life. Were you were you ever like driving and then you like like the edge you were near the edge and then like it was like that movie scene where they like the rocks are crumbling down? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, um, not <laughs> That's really. It right there, not really. Um, but we did ask the uh, tour guides at the end. We're like, dude, that was like that was a lot more intense than we thought. Like, is has anybody ever died like doing this? And the tour guides were like, dude, yes. Like, what? Yeah, they're like more than you think. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Jesus. He told us a pretty so sad okay. story. I'm not going to repeat it because it was pretty. I don't yeah. want to bring down um, the crowd, yeah. but yeah, uh, <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Somebody uh, fell off and died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, worse than that even. But yeah. Um, <laughs> so it was fun, though. It was a lot of fun. Um, highly recommend doing it. You don't have to gun it. OK, yeah. uh, but me being in the middle and like, you know, I don't want to like hold everyone up. So like I kind of felt obligated to, you know, follow along. Yeah. Nuts. I'm like picturing it. I, uh, I wish you guys had like a GoPro, dude. I, I think Justin might have. I'll see if he can sit. It was, dude. It was so much fun. I'll go down his feed um, on Instagram because uh, I'm sure. Dude, we we it. stopped at the very top of the mountain. There was like a bar, and we stopped and like had a beer and like hung out, and then went down the mountain. And once you get down the mountain, there's like it's not rivers, but like I don't know, like maybe foot or two deep water, and like these giant yeah. rocks, and you're like gunning it, like going through the water and like i mean there was even a time that my engine like kind of i mean a couple of our engines like stalled out because too much water got in there and dude isn't oh they didn't have the snorkel (laughs) no no it's a real that's a thing no yeah Yeah, no again (laughs) you thought it was like like not the most experienced driver right here so gotcha um that's badass i've always wanted to do and we almost did one in hawaii um all right i'm gonna make you Go first, Chase. Blank is the best breakfast food ever. God, this is the easiest question in the world, man. It's bacon. It's it's definitely bacon. Okay. I don't even do I need to like go on beyond that? No, I, I unless uh Kevin uh disagrees then. Yeah, I hundred percent disagree. Bacon's not shut up. Shut I don't up. even like the bacon that much. Shut up. Like You're there's like bacon in my fridge just I I was gonna go yesterday because we were. I was out of cereal. I always eat cereal for breakfast. Uh, that's not the best breakfast no, food for the regular. Thank God. Uh, uh, but I was gonna go to. Uh, I was gonna go to McDonald's and just get like a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. And I was like, you know what? I need to save some money. I'm on cruise saving money mode. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I have I have eggs. I have eggs and I got cheese at home. I'll just make myself a little egg sandwich. You know, egg and cheese sandwich. And then I would look, open the open the fridge and I was like, oh, there's bacon. I was like, nah, I'm good. You're stupid. Anyways. That's how much I hate. That's how much I don't like bacon. Let's, I was let's, like, nah, I'm good. I want to hear your wrong answer now. Uh, it's, I don't think it's, it's, it's not one item like eggs or bacon or biscuits. It's a breakfast burrito. Well, I mean, if we're going like. Burritos. I mean, if we're going that path, then yeah. Well, well what would your path, what would it be then? Dude, probably a breakfast burrito with bacon in it. Mm. 
<laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it was just that, I'd probably go biscuits. I mean, I don't know. At least get some gravy on that shit, man. Well, I mean, you, I'm not. I don't know where this stops. Like, where does the uh, where's the barrier? That's a good you know? question. That's a yeah. good question. Uh, when we went to we went to a wedding in New Mexico, my one of my best friends, Matt Simpkins, got married to Leslie in New Mexico, and it was an amazing time. One of the one of uh, me and Erica's favorite vacations, and uh, they had this. We we Googled like best best breakfast place in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it was like, you got to go here and try the breakfast burrito. I was like, fucking sold. <laughs> and I mean, this thing was like, you know how like you get your uh, you get your uh, Chipotle burritos and those things are, I don't know how you get your, your mine are fucking stacked, stacked high. So, I mean, this thing came out and it was huge and it was fantabulous. No bacon. You, oh, stop. No bacon. Ex- extra bacon. Uh, what'd you get? Sausage yeah. in it? Yeah, I think it had sausage, eggs, cheese, uh, and uh, being that we were in New Mexico, I got some salsa. Nice. That's always good. Would have been better if there was bacon in it, but all right. Mm, sounds like an opinion. No, it's it's a fact. I think we're all we're all in agreement. Obviously, I think a breakfast burrito would yeah, be the best thing. For sure. I think burritos in yep, general. Are, I'm with you on that. You know? Yeah. Can, for sure. All right. Um Chase, I'm gonna make you go first on this one just because Kevin's like one upping us on all of these. <laughs> Kevin's uh, in story I'm, mode. Y'all back <laughs> the fuck out, bro. Watch out. I'm gonna make you look bad again. Oh, cool. So blink <laughs> blink is the hardest thing I've ever done. So again, I was having trouble um thinking of something for this. Mary actually kind of helped me out. Um that easy life. Well, yeah, no, I mean, look, I've had a very blessed life. I don't get scared and I don't do hard things. No, I, didn't say, deal, dude, I definitely get scared. The thing is I haven't done that much like scary thing i just haven't been put in the situation enough i guess or i'm just you know have a terrible memory also possible um no i've had a very easy life very blessed spoiled life Um, hashtag blessed yep yep um but and this is something i brought on myself uh i used to smoke cigarettes it's not something that i'm you know proud of (sighs) yeah no it's gross um, I have not smoked a cigarette in a, probably coming up on 10 years, <laughs> but that is something that was very hard to stop. Um, it, it honestly took, uh, emotional pleas from my mom is finally what, wow. what, uh, gave me the kick in the ass to, to do it. You know, she, she told me, she was like, look, if it's a money thing, you know, I will buy you the patch. I'll get you the gum. Like, just basically, like, begged me to stop smoking cigarettes. And that's crazy. so that's finally, I was like, you know what? Like, I need to, I had been talking about doing it for a while, man. But, like, it's it's not easy. Anyone that's, you know, that's smoked cigarettes for a while and then, you know, try to quit. It's not an easy habit to break. Um, Did you ever, uh, you know, like... uh drug and alcohol drug addicts and alcoholics they relapse so did you ever like quit and then you like fuck i need so a cigarette right i now. i don't i don't give a so shit i had stopped for i mean not that long um i don't even know if i was doing the i, I must have been chewing the gum at that point i had stopped for a while um and we went it was spring break and we went to my friend rob's uh beach house and for that week i smoked cigarettes just for that week um and then i haven't had one since then what made you do it then i don't, like, I don't know the, you were just in the crowd yeah i guess like i mean i don't know i hadn't i hadn't quit for that long at that point i mean maybe two weeks at that point um and like we were all together and everyone had cigarettes everywhere and i was like you know what i'll smoke one um and i smoked a lot that week and then from then on i've not had a single cigarette so that's one thing I do remember. We used to play some late night poker, and uh, I don't know if we told this story before or not. But uh, back in college, we used to play some late night poker, and it would always come down to me and Chase because we're the best poker yep. players. And but I mean, every fucking ten minutes, <laughs> man. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a quick smoke break, uh, and I'm just sitting there. I don't smoke, so I'm sitting there by myself. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, dude. So uh, it's four o'clock in the morning. Well, so, and and the mean, funny thing is, like, you know, sometimes Rob would would 
he'd come to the finals too. Rob was Rob would make at least final four. Rob, would, yeah, Rob, Rob was yeah, good. For sure. He also smoked cigarettes. So like if, yeah. if I wasn't in the finals, um, you would still have to deal with Rob uh, smoking yeah. cigarettes. And God forbid, because we always did at your place. God forbid you got out and Rob and I are in the finals, man. Shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm mean, like, just show yourself out. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah. Kev, what's yours? Um, well, you guys helped me with this one. Uh, it, I know for like some like expert runners and shit, like this may not be a big thing, but I ran a half marathon, 13.1 miles. Uh, my boys and my girls all helped me train the whole, uh, the whole crew. Um, we all, they used to go out there on the trails with me and, uh, help me train for this thing. So I owe a lot to just my running partners in general uh shout out to everybody that helped me then um but uh it was i when we were running we when we were training for this we would run on a trail that was just flat the whole way i was like i wanted to get it under two hours or about that i ended up finishing at 201 which kind of still pisses me off to this day uh, but the, the reason that I was a minute behind is cause I had to stop for like, for like 10 seconds and it just threw me off because we got to like, probably like mile 11, right? Uh, the 13 and there is a straight up, straight up like bridge right in front of me. And I'm like, all right, it's no big deal. Just run up the bridge. As soon as I hit that first step of that bridge, bro, I've never felt like the cramp Ooh. was outrageous. Uh, like, and I, and I, you know, I've had cramps before where I just like, I'm like, just keep running. It'll, it'll be tight, but you, you know, you, it'll loosen up after a while. If you just keep running, you know, mm-hmm. this one, I tried to keep running. <laughs> it just got worse. <laughs> it's already cramping up even more. Uh, so, I had to stop and stretch it out, like get it, like get that knot out. And it still kind of bothered me the rest of the race, but it's still like, uh, I made it to the end and I guess I was a little more, I must've been dehydrated, I guess. Probably that's, I think that is a big issue with cramps. Yeah. Yeah. Because, so I got to the end and, uh, I'm just like, I had to go straight for the railing to like hold myself up. Cause like, and they were like, they're like, you finished. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I fucking know. Like, uh, they're like, you did it. And they put that metal around me. And then I was like, I was like, we're, we're so, and when you're like, when you're dehydrated, you're like, I was like almost like delusional. Mm-hmm. Like, like I was drunk. I felt like I was drunk. I was trying to talk. I was like, just some of the car that sent it from. I need some water, please. <laughs> and they're just like, What's that? <laughs> yeah, you did it. Good job. I'm like, uh, this is uh, so big. I was so. <laughs> and, so they they ended up like, they were like, come on. Uh, oh, you need water? Are you okay? And I was like, no, I, can you help me? And I was like, I just need to sit down for a minute. And because I, like, I was like right in the way of everybody like finishing the race, you know? So they like helped me off to the side and they're like, here, let's just take you over to the medic tent. And I was just like, whoa, that just seems like a lot, yeah. you know? That seems like a bit much. Like, I'm a grown-ass <laughs> man. I don't need the medic tent. Uh, people are dying in there. I'm not dying. Yeah, but you, you don't uh, want to mess so, around with that kind of thing, man. It, oh, it can creep yeah, up it's... on you. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and then, like, I couldn't find Erica, and I couldn't find my crew, so I was just, like, literally, like, a drunken, like, man, like, running around, like, Erica! <laughs> Erica! <laughs> Eventually, I found her, though. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. It was, That'd be a weird crazy. story. I, mean, I never found her. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. still looking. If you that find was, her. That uh, was the end. Erica Hefner, yeah. look for her. Yeah. <laughs> um, I never ran one. I don't think I ever will. I just have no... You could do it. I mean, you can definitely do it. I feel like if I trained again, I could do it. It was the, the time thing. Yeah. I was like, I have to get it under two hours. Yeah. It's It's not about the actual, like being able to it's just that the willpower i just that's just too long to do something straight complete like over and over again just keep running for two hours Dude, i don't know how chris did his marathon yeah. yeah chris ridiculous yeah the the man that smelled like tequila while we trained um <laughs> yeah yeah oh when we were training for that half yeah. marathon, that's when he'd come out there and run just like 
fresh out of bullwinkles like the, <laughs> the bar bullwinkles it was like, uh it was aj's flipping tuesdays oh, yeah. and he would like yeah. he would he would flip and if you uh if you got it was a coin if you could guess heads or tails and you were right you got uh the shots for free and uh God, he'd come that. in and he honestly would smell like tequila or vodka and we're not making that up nope. or exaggerating and it, it honestly the whole car smelled like it and he would still go out there and like run just beat more around. and faster he'd than be everybody like, yeah, faster than everybody. Yeah. Loop, yeah. loop around and be like, "Are you guys okay? Okay, I'll see you later." And just <laughs> run off again, <laughs> dick. <laughs> R.I.P. Um, so we're gonna get some food, man. You want some food? No, I'm good, man. No, 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 no. I ate uh, two days ago. We're good. <laughs> I ate seven days. <laughs> um. All right. Uh. Trivia. Trivia. I can't help but hear now Emily's I, uh, voice now. That's right. That's exactly what I was going to say. Now that I know that's Emily, like yeah. it's, it makes it even so much yeah. better. Um, she did not want to do that at all. And I then, so I it. started manipulating her voice and she was like, I hate it. Don't you play it? I'm like, no, nah, I like it so much. And the fact that you hate it, it's going on there now. You're such a I dick. feel like that's how a lot of your decisions <laughs> are made now. Like, <laughs> oh, you hate that? Sorry. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> um. So this is kind of, not a redo, but we've done something similar, and I thought it was uh, going to be fun to bring it back. Um, please stop me if you know the answer, because it might be common knowledge. Uh, where did Childish Gambino get his name from? And I'll give you I do, choices. I do not know. Okay. Uh, his mom gave it to him. Uh, online name generator. <laughs> uh, nickname from a mafia movie. Or his an old history teacher gave it to him after an oral presentation about <laughs> Carl Gambino. That one's so specific, yeah, um, right. that it makes me think it's not the answer. But like, I want it to be the answer, so I'm going with mm-hmm. that. Um, okay. It better not be name generator again, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna be done with trivia if it's a name Who? generator. Wasn't there a yes. name generator before? Yes. Yeah, that's the point. Uh, Post Malone. It, Post Dude, Malone, that's why I wanted to bring it back. It better not be. I was gonna say, generator. like, if that's what it was, bro. I was. Uh, I'm gonna go with his mommy. I think his mom that gave it to him. Sense. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm in the I'm in the parent <laughs> mode today. I don't know. Yeah, I got you. The whole birth thing brought back some memories. I'm unplugging my mic if it's a name generator because I really like Childish Gambino. Uh, um, I do too. Unplug your mic, buddy. Stop. No. <laughs> Stop it. If it makes Are you, you serious? If it makes you feel better, it, it was a Wu Tang Clan name generator. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that no, makes it better no. for me. It no, still doesn't it do it. it for me. <laughs> Sorry, man. I I could not pass it up when it popped up. Um, uh, it's called uh, Trivia Drinks. I follow him on Instagram, and it popped up on theirs. And I was like, I'm using it. I got to use it. It's uh, it's too perfect. I'm. I mean, I think I think I need a rap name now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I'm glad you said that because I went to the Wu Tang Clan name <laughs> generator, uh, and I did uh, yours, Kevin. I'm gonna do uh, Chase's next. All right, Kevin. Oh, let's go. It. Yours as Kevin Hefner is. <laughs> you're gonna fucking love this. <laughs> uh, authority unhinged. <laughs> oh, let's go. Uh, yeah. Authority unhinged. That's pretty, authority it's it's unhinged. like they know you. Yeah, bro. That's hard as fuck. <laughs> Like I'm not messing with uh, anybody named Authority. What was it? Unchanged. <laughs> Unhinged. Unhinged. Yeah. I am fine fucking with him. Uh, <laughs> my gonna be terrible. <laughs> it's gonna be like angry <laughs> asshole. Dude, it's dude, it's epic, man. Uh, Coyote sinister. <laughs> Coyote sinister. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say to that. Bro, uh, oh if you man. come up to me and you're like, bro, hey, my name's Coyote Sinister. I'm fucking fighting you, dude. <laughs> we're, we're, going, we're going blow to blow right there. Uh, yeah. uh, Authority Unhinged versus Coyote Sinister coming to you live nope. uh, Tuesday night. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was I, it was awesome. I didn't look your asses up. I was like, I want to be stunned when I brought it. So I started doing it um, while uh, I was doing the trivia. So, well, I know, I know what my name is from now. <laughs> Authority unhinged. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Uh, it it does feel like it knows you. It does. Um, yeah. uh, so it yeah. does not know me. Uh, before <laughs> uh, we move on to uh, Chase's rant, um, my coach at my gym came up to me and he was like, "Hey, man, have you ever uh, had a? Do you know what a 
bear fight is. And I was like, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> like two bears fighting. Got it. It's not no, a like, no, a, no, 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 like no. a bear and a gorilla fighting. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. He was like, no, bro. Um, it's a drink. What? And I was like, what? Say what? Yeah. So I said, uh, please explain. And I want to see if you guys heard of this. And I'm apparently not. Nope. So a bear fight is a Jaeger bomb chased with an Irish car bomb. Oh, uh, here's the catch. <laughs> there is a Mexican bear fight, which is a Jaeger bomb chased with an Irish car bomb, followed by a shot of tequila, a shot of tequila. Yeah. Whew. Um, I just thought maybe one night we should try that. You know, um, I'm a fan of the Irish car bomb. It's delicious. Me too. Uh, but I just thought Irish like, car bomb is not a shot. By the way, this is like a flipping drink, dude. I mean, well, it's no, no. Irish car bombs like a sh- uh, is a, a bomb. Shot. It's the yeah, you drink like a half a beer. It's in like this a situation. quarter of a beer. Yeah, and you and same with the Jaeger bomb. It's the same kind of style. Uh, you have a shot of liquor and then um, Red Bull, um, right? Red Bull, yeah. So there's a drink mix. So it's it's a lot of liquid you're taking down back to back to back. I'd rather ta- um, take down a quarter of Guinness than a whole Red Bull. I disagree. I, with that. I, Shot I agree. Red Bull yeah. sounds terrible. Well, you're only it drinking. Yeah, like but half. I, uh, I haven't. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of Guinness. I'm not trying to. It's like a quarter I mean, of a I, Guinness. I'll eat my meal later. You know, I don't need to. <laughs> you're not a fan of stouts. Yeah. Uh, no. I'm no, not. I mean, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of stouts, honestly. But I mean, I'll but drink. But Irish Carbon yeah, is yeah. just so damn good. Yep. Uh, but. No, but you're not a chugger, uh, Kev. So I I'm not a chugger. Not a yeah, we uh, we know that <laughs> we from that, the New Year's we have Eve that episode. On the record. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm fine yeah, with it. If that. you, I mean, you're a top five uh, kisser, a top three lover. So. Yeah, I was gonna say we already know my hidden talents, <laughs> Winky. <laughs> Bing. Bing. All right, Chase. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Kev. I'm always angry. <laughs> So I think for this one, I'm going to go with people who used motorized shopping carts when they clearly don't need it. (laughs) So, I mean, look, I get the invention of the motorized shopping cart. It is for uh, people who have trouble getting around for one reason or another. But I mean, I've seen people who weigh less than me using that shit like or people who like then like I'm like oh like maybe they have like a hurt foot or something and then they check out and like they just like hop right off and like jog to their car I'm like what the fuck man like cuz those things they're bigger and wider than like normal shopping carts and like they're always in the way and they're just a pain in the fucking ass and like come on man like there's there's not a reason that at any point in time, there's like five of those things in use in a given shopping center. Like there's not more than five people that need that thing at any given time. Get off of it, get your lazy ass off of the seat and just drive around or just push the cart like a normal human being, man. Like the shopping center is not that fucking big. Okay. You don't need a little motorized scooter to get around. All right. Now, if you actually need it, I get it. That's cool. No ish. Give me, give me, uh, like two or three examples where you'd be like, that doesn't bother me if you're using it. Like if, if you're like have a broken leg or super old or super old. Yeah. Or handicapped. Totally. Handicapped. Or handicapped. Yeah, man. Yeah. Definitely. So would. I will, I will definitely be in agreement with, and I'm going to probably lose a viewer or get hate mail for this. Uh, when you're kind of maybe on the heavy set side and you're doing it, it bothers me. Cause I'm just like, this could be your little, exercise for the day to like help move you along and get you in the right path and so it does bother me if i see see it used for that that doesn't even Um, bother me as much um really yeah i mean bothers me jay i agree with it jason it's it's the people who like clearly don't need it i mean if you if you if you're so heavy that you need i don't know i don't know and i get it i don't want to get it yeah i'll sound like an asshole there's situations obviously where you're at that point where it's it's you can't yeah you can't walk i kind of get it but there's i'm talking about like you you can walk and you can get around you're just a big boy no Um, i get it i get it i'm not yeah there's yeah there's the uh, other part where you physically it's gonna hurt you to walk around i get that but if you're just being like um, lazy yeah, yeah. You, you know, you know. No, I got you. The fucking teenagers is what dude. gets me, man. Yeah. Any, oh, dude, because they like 
they they just use it as a game and like yeah. you know they're they're like all in your way man you know how i feel about people getting in my way in grocery stores <laughs> yeah. to begin with now you're doing it on a motorized vehicle that you don't even need like oh and there's people that fucking need them i was going to say no, that yeah. and they don't have a lot of no. them okay. yeah yeah i'm with you on that one uh it's just i think my audience that it upsets me is probably a little bit different than no, you i get it um but yeah, there's like usually what one or two or three of them, yeah. and then if you see a, like a teenager using it, and then another person, I would probably yank that little shithead right off of it and be like, "Get off!" <laughs> like I honestly probably, if I saw someone coming in that you're like, "Damn, he probably could use it," I'm yanking that little yeah. head, uh, shithead yeah. off. Yeah. Like the, the dad in me is gonna come out and yeah. be like, "You get off of there right now!" Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's applauding. There are people you. that need him. Yeah. You're about to bring out authority unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's the ah, oh, that's the best one. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, I don't know what happened to it. I'm gonna put it in the show, obviously, but I can't play the dad tip. I don't see it on my uh my robe. I'm so sorry, man. It's gonna be played. It's gonna be played in post. I just can't play it in the show. Just right do now. it again, um, and I'll drop the beat. Yeah, man, I can do it. <laughs> dad tip. Do the. I'm gonna fuck that one. Are you gonna try? <laughs> uh. What is it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. no, that's good. You know what, young lady? Do you want to go to timeout? All right. One, two, three. It's time for dad tips. All right. So my dad tip today is uh, also kind of a life tip in general. Um, I'm going to stick with the dad part of it, though. And then at the end, I will throw in the life part of it. Um, Stop. You have to live in the moment. Live in the moment. Your your mind is a wonderful thing. And it can can hold memories and hold things in there for the rest of your life. You know, like people that are about to die remember things that at the very beginning of their life. So stop taking goddamn so many fucking pictures and stop getting so angry about pictures all the time. Like things not turning out perfectly with your little pictures of your kids. You get in, Johnny, get in line, get in, you know, get in the correct spot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. The moment is the moment. I understand if you're like trying to take like Christmas pictures or something, you know, uh, but like if you're like, I don't know, you know. Like you're at the, the you're at the farmer's okay. market or something, yeah, or yeah, exactly. If you're at the Grand Canyon or something, and you're trying to take a picture, and you know, somebody doesn't smile right or something, you know, you know what? That's the moment. That's the picture. You know, there's a picture of me when I was a kid. It's a giant family picture, you know, and it's me. I'm sitting there with my arms crossed, and I got a big frown on my face. Because I, I was not feeling it at the moment, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but that's the fucking picture. Like, it, I, we still talk about that as a family today because it's fucking hilarious, you know? Uh, but, I mean, the picture thing in general, that was my dad part of it. Yeah. The kids, like, the picture thing in general, oh, my God, bro. It drives me crazy. Uh, I went to a Gorillaz concert in Miami. Gorillaz, best band of all time, for the record. Uh, I went there, and half of the crowd... Is just standing there with their phone up and holding, like looking at their screen. I'm just like, hello. They're right in front of <laughs> you, you don't bro. Watch you it don't through see a screen. It. Yeah, yeah, dude. You know what they sound like. You, if you want to go back and listen to them, just hit play on Spotify, bro, and it'll or whatever sound you listen than to. on your phone. Yeah. And while you're on Spotify, just go ahead and subscribe to Cup to Cup. <laughs> show. Thank you just very much. Uh, but anyways, like, just live in the moment, man. Like. I sound like a hippie and I don't no, even I like care. It. It's true. Yeah. I think that's one thing we've all, I mean, we've discussed on the show before that social media is kind of taken over it's and I, we don't want to sound like an old man on his front porch, like telling people to get off his lawn. But like, I mean, it, it does make you miss actually being there a lot of times when, you know, you're busy being there through your phone as opposed to being there in real life. That's right. Amen. 
they uh i i was going through my feed on social media uh this morning on the toilet and there was a cool meme i don't know if it's considered a meme but whatever it had a dog and a and a human sitting out looking over like the mountains right and it said why dogs are always happy and it showed like a little bubble like where the dog was thinking and all he was thinking about was sitting next to his human looking at the mountains and then it had the human thinking of like bills and uh-huh. airplanes and traveling and all that and they're like this is why dogs mm-hmm. are always happy and i was like oh two shit that fits yeah that's yeah that's deep man i like that yeah like it was that. a really cool photo um wall worthy for sure so before i hand this mic off to kevin to wrap this episode up i wanted to give a little shout out slash recommendation for another podcast it's by a comedian named robert omoto the podcast is called random thoughts he uh basically started the podcast when he started a uh, comedy uh, he talks about the good, the bad. He talks about him um, bombing on stage to him opening up to big acts. Uh, it's really funny stuff. He also interviews tons and tons of other comedians. So it is a badass podcast to discover new talent uh, and new standups if that's what you're into. Um, so he's been around the block. He's from California. Uh, funny, funny podcast. Check him out. It's called, again, Random Thoughts by uh, Robert Omoto. I'm sorry, bro, if I'm mispronouncing your name. I'm not a smart dude, uh, but uh, you can find it. Uh, we'll we'll give a couple shout-outs on uh, Instagram, Facebook, so you can find them too. Uh, again, check them out. It's uh, funny stuff. Kevin, come on. Give it to us. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today on this fantastic episode. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure that you're continuing to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Cup to Cup Show. You can just search it anywhere. Also, subscribe, comment, do whatever you got to do on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, wherever you want to listen to your podcast. Uh, and make sure that you're continuing to give us some feedback, man. Like, uh, we've asked a lot of questions today to the guests, and I expect you to do your homework and let us know what you think uh, when it comes to the cruise, when it comes to the fill in the blank questions. Do you agree or disagree? Also, the subs. Uh, we had a little upset today. I mean, what would you think about it? Anyways, thanks for joining us, guys. Feedback. Love you. Oh, bye. Also, no, 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 there's no bye. All right, I already All said right. bye. <laughs> the last thing, and Kev hit on it a little bit, um, we're closing into about 1,000 downloads a month. Um, slowly but surely, we'll get there. So that means that there's a lot of you um, that need to review us. Go on to our iTunes account or your Spotify or wherever you listen and just hit that little five star. Give us a four star if you if, if you have nope. to. Uh, but the more times you guys review is um, super beneficial because it will boost us on to the discovery page. And that's how you get found. Um, you guys are the ones that are going to help us. Um, we can only do so much. So if you review us, tell a friend. If you tell one friend, that person tells another friend. We grow. It'll be awesome. And I promise you uh, we will. Um, We'll pay it forward some way, somehow to um, you loyal listeners that are um, listening to every single episode, um, which is incredibly badass because none of us thought it was going to um, get past our parents and our close friends or possibly right. wives. And now we realize some of our wives don't even listen. It's actually just you guys. So, uh, <laughs> yep. uh, so thanks. Uh, give us the review. And uh, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks, guys. Can I say bye now? Yeah, you can say bye. 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 bye.